guys, happy Sunday. Welcome back to our channel. Happy to see ya, good to see ya. Today, I want to share a little bit out of this book that I've been reading, Made for More by Hannah Anderson. So I wanted to read a little segment and just kind of talk about the idea that and truth that she's presenting. But if you're new, hello, my name is Peyton. I'm so happy you're here. Every Sunday, we do faith-based videos, talk about Jesus, because we're besties with Jesus here. And Fridays, we do fun videos and kind of more lifestyle, chill. I mean, all the videos on my channel are chill, but on Fridays, we just do random fun stuff. But if you'd like to join the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. Also, you can still join the Hosea Bible study that I am hosting that will be live on Zoom so we can all talk to each other. It should be an amazing, fun time. And the link to register for that will be in the bio. So I hope to see all of your happy faces there because I've never actually seen your faces. So you better show up. But I wanted to read this paragraph that Hannah wrote and it says, Thankfully, he's the kind of God who welcomes our questions who can wrestle with us through the confusion and still bless us in the process. He's the kind of God who desires true faith, even at its weakest points, and looks for mustard seeds instead of mountains. He is the kind of God who delights in the plea, help my unbelief, and then holds on to us because we can't hold on to him anymore. He is the kind of God who can handle all our doubt, all our fear, all our questions, if we will simply commit to letting him. I absolutely love this because I think a lot of times we get confused. Uh, we're in a season of confusion and we think sometimes, I don't know, I've done this before. I think God gets annoyed or mad at me when I'm confused or when I'm lost and not sure what I should do next. But the reality of it is, and she's speaking truth right here. He's the God that wants to sit by our side during those times. He wants to wrestle those questions with us, wrestle that confusion He's the God that wants you to run to him. He wants to be the first person you run to when you're confused, when you have questions, when you need help and advice on what to do and where to go next. I love that. It's reassuring because I know all of us feel confusion. All of us have questions. And it's nice to know that regardless, God is never going to get mad at you. God will never look at you and say, I can't believe you're asking a question that I've already told you the answer to. He's going to tell you the answer as many times as it takes for you to understand and realize what the answer is. I also love my favorite sentence. He is the kind of God who can handle all our doubt, all our fear, and all our questions if we let him. I love this because I'm someone who is fearful. We all have fears. And the fact that God is big enough to handle any fear, I don't care how big you think your fear is, God is always big enough to handle your fears. This is incredible. Nothing is ever too big for God. The issue sometimes is that last part, letting him. Are you letting God have those questions? Are you letting God handle that fear for you? A lot of times we don't let God do his job. And yes, God is more powerful than us times 20, times a million. But we, he likes when we let him do things, let him be a part of our life. When we invite him to take our questions and to take our problems and fears in. And I just don't want you to be discouraged or feel like I'm confused today. I'm going through some issues today. I'm afraid today, which means I can't face God and I can't go to God. No, he wants you to so that he can fight this with you. You can overcome this alongside God because let me tell you, the things that you want to overcome, the things you want to heal from, you cannot do on your own. And I'm not saying that to be a bully. It's just true. We need God. We need God for a lot of things. And You'll feel a sense of freedom and peace when you let God have those things. And I don't have this perfect yet. There are things that I give to God and there's things that I hold on to for a really long time and then finally give to God. So we're human. We have to work through that. We work through that trust with God. And I just want to give you this short message just as encouragement that if you've been confused, if you've been afraid, if you've just felt like you're on the wrong path, first of all, know that God will lead you down the right path. He will make the wrong path so hard to find. 
It says in Hosea, actually, I was reading about this. Uh, he will make the wrong path so hard to find. It says in Hosea 6, Therefore, this is what I will do. I will block her way with thorns. I will enclose her with a wall so that she cannot find her paths. So in Hosea, Israel is is just not doing the best things. They're worshiping other gods and they're sinning. And God is telling them, I'm going to make the wrong path so hard to find that the only path you can take is to lead back to me so I can heal you again. So I want you to know that if you're confused or anything like that, the answer is always found in Jesus. So spend time in that, rest in that. And this week, whenever you feel that confusion, that fear, when you feel like whatever you're handling is too big for God, I want you to just stop, grab your Bible, go somewhere where you can be calm, where it's quiet, where there's no distractions, and just be with God. Literally yesterday, I just laid out on the couch on my patio and just said nothing. Just invited God into that space and just laid there. Whether he said anything or not, it felt amazing and I felt a lot of peace to just be there with him. To lay there with him. It was amazing. So, that's what I want you to remember this week. And I love you guys. As always, if you need anything at all, please message me. The best way to message me is honestly Instagram. So I'll leave my Instagram up here in the description. Message me on Instagram if you ever need anything. But you guys are amazing. Once again, this is Made for More by Hannah Anderson. If you want to read that as well, it's been incredible. But I will see all of your beautiful faces on Friday. Bye.